Welcome to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer, a show full of tips and practical strategies to repair, rebuild, and strengthen your relationship. If you are currently stuck wondering if your marriage can be saved, or you know you want to save it but don't know how to go about changing it, this show is for you. And now here is your host, Nicola Beer, who specializes in a proven 10-step program to help couples increase their love, passion, and happiness in their marriage in 30 days or less, guaranteed. Hi, this is Nicola Beer, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how to keep your relationship loving after children. Has your relationship changed since you've had children? Does he not understand? Is she always busy with the children? There is no need for you to lose sight of what made you fall in love. I'm going to be sharing with you how to keep your loving relationship after children. The effects of having a child are immeasurable. Whilst most parents say the greatest moment and thing in their life was the birth of their son or daughter, the effect that having a child can have on your marriage is immense. Marital dissatisfaction can ensue after having a child and it can persist for years if you choose either not to address it or assume that your relationship will flourish or return to how it was without giving it the attention that it deserves. So many couples I meet report that their marriages suffered as a result of having children and yet did not take any action to change things. Research supports this, showing that there is a significant drop in marital satisfaction and an increase in marital conflict. The point I want to make in the relationship advice that I'm sharing with you today is that it doesn't have to be this way. With thought, consideration and open discussion, with your husband or wife, it is possible to prevent things from happening and it's possible to restore the loving and fulfilling relationship you had before, even if you do feel right now that things have changed for the worse. You already know that having a child is life-changing. From the moment you first set eyes on your baby, you begin a journey of full emotional highs and increased anxiety. It is an incredible occasion, but also a frightening and challenging time for many couples. Some feel they will not have enough money to give their child the best start in life. Others question their ability to be a good parent and worry at every stage of their child's development as to whether they are meeting their needs. It's natural for your child to become your priority and focus, although if they are your only focus, then this can be to the detriment of your marriage and where we all might benefit from some relationship advice. So relationship tip number one, is to know that expectations and needs change over time. The number one reason for divorce is mismatched expectations, where people will say to me, he's not the man I thought he would be, or she's not the the woman I married. With the relationship, and children particularly, the expectations that you have of your spouse and what is important to your relationship may shift. Mothers often tend to desire more family commitment, that they may have not even given much priority to or attention to before having a child. She will want to see that her partner is actively involved and engaged in parenting, and this is something that will help her to feel connected, appreciated and loved. By having the support and involvement in the way she wants it mind, she will feel closer to her partner. Also, domestic support can also be very important for some mothers once they have children and help around the house whereas previously they may not have cared if things were messy or they may not have expected their partner to chip in with the chores. Men on the other hand tend to increase their emotions of responsibility which could be reflected through finance and work. They may start to focus on the amount of money that's being spent and become controlling or they may spend much effort and time on advancing their career or put pressure on their wife to return to work quicker Whether their expectations change or not, common things that men will say to me is they don't feel appreciated or they feel like an ATM machine. Many share that it feels as if they cannot do anything right in the house or with the children, so they may as well give up. The second tip is to connect and communicate. It's highly likely that yours and your partner's emotional needs and expectations have changed since you got together, whether it was after you got married, after you had children, or just as you've learn and develop and grown. The important thing here is to address this and change and be open about it. None of us can read the mind of our partners no matter how close we are. 
You must have this discussion with your partner and tell one another what it is that you desire without making demands or criticising. The problem is, most of us under pressure or when tired, snap, nag, blame or criticise. Whilst it is natural for us to have off days when exhausted or feeling run down, many couples say to me that they have off months or years. Clearly here, something needs to be addressed, as it doesn't feel good to be nagging or criticising others, or harbouring and holding on to resentment. Resentment is one of those things that can really sap your energy. It's like having a low, repressed anger. So you really want to work on letting that go, and you can do that by sharing your expectations and desires, and waiting for your partner to create their own change after listening to you express your desires. Ultimately, if you do not identify the changes and adjustments in what you would like from each other, then you will become discontented. Resentment, if left undealt with, leads to explosive rouse or distance. Therefore, it is imperative to share what is on your mind in a positive way. If you take the approach, let's listen to each other and make changes focusing on the future, not past, you will experience positive results. If, on the other hand, your discussions are centred on what your spouse is doing wrong, This will not help you move forward. You must align your future goals, wishes and support one another in the roles you have assumed. Couples who do this thrive after children are born because they're really focusing on how to support each other, be the person that they want to be and helping each other be the mother or father that they really want to be. Sleep deprivation and a consequent lack of energy is also a culprit in marriage dissatisfaction. You may feel like you are exhausted much of the time. Lack of sleep can affect all aspects of your emotional and physical being. It will affect your mood, your effort towards your relationship and the love that you feel for one another. So help each other out. Do your best to ensure that they are both taking time to rest and to sleep. Take it in turns to have lions where possible and to allow each other rest time. And lastly, just remember that the key to success is listening and supporting one another. Communication without change is pointless. So after any discussion, look at what you will both commit to doing differently. I hope you found something useful in this. Have a wonderful week ahead, from my heart to yours. If you're struggling in your relationship right now, please do get in touch with me and book your free Save My Marriage consultation. All you need to do is go to savemymarriageprogram.com and click free consultation and there you'll be given access to my online calendar where you can book a time that suits you and during the consultation we will look at how to increase love happiness and passion in your relationship how to overcome past hurt and pain and how to take a step forward so that you start feeling good about your relationship again and that's at savemymarriageprogram.com Have a wonderful week ahead. I really look forward to speaking with you and connecting with you in another episode. Thank you for listening to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer. To book your free Save My Marriage consultation, please visit www.savemymarriageprogram.com forward slash consult. And if you've enjoyed this episode, Nicola would really appreciate it if you could leave a rating and review on whatever app you're listening through so the show stays visible, allowing more people to get the support they need to increase their love, passion and happiness. 